Habitat was the world's first massively multiplayer online game, and was a remarkable achievement for its time. Originally released by Lucasfilm for the Commodore 64 in 1986, it established countless conventions of the MMO genre. The Museum of Art and Digital Entertainment worked for months to change US copyright law to make it legal for them to recover and host this game online. This video will teach you the controls in just a few minutes, so let's play! Press any key at startup, then choose a good RPG character name. Follow the on-screen prompts to push Alt-N or Command-N on a Mac, then any key to begin. Then wait for about 75 seconds while the game loads. After waiting for the emulator to switch virtual floppy disks, you'll be whisked away to the Habitat Immigration Office. From there, the welcome bot approves your visa and you're free to explore the world. Habitat uses a joystick to move the cursor around the screen. If you don't have a joystick, use the arrow keys instead, and the tilde button above the tab key will function as your fire button. Hold fire to bring up the command menu, then cycle through the arrow keys to choose go, get, put, or do. Once you make your choice, release the fire button to execute. Move your avatar by pointing your cursor at your target location and executing the go command. You can use go to travel through open doors and to adjacent rooms. Explore long enough and you'll find one of the many vending machines scattered throughout the land of Populopolis. To use them, you'll need money. Once you find an ATM machine, you can withdraw tokens by executing the get command. You can use this same get command to pick up other items in the game. Just make sure you're not already holding any tokens or anything, because you can only hold one item at a time. Luckily, you can store up to five items in your pocket, and you can buy bags or boxes to hold more. To put an object you're holding into your pocket, hover your cursor over yourself and execute the put command. You can use the same put command to set the object down where the cursor is, or to insert tokens into a vending machine. To take an object out of your pocket, execute the get command on yourself, then select the object you want to use. You can use the do command to interact with other objects in the game. Use do to open a door, turn lights off and on, or use the object your avatar is holding. One of the most helpful commands in the game is the help command. By pointing your cursor at any object and pressing F7, you'll bring up a dialog box that can give you a clue on how to use that item. Pressing F8 will give you general tips. One great place to meet other players is at the Oracle Fountain, but we'll leave it up to you how to find it. If you encounter other players in the game, you can talk to them by typing your message and pressing enter. Just be aware that everyone in the room can hear you. To send a private message, type 2, colon, then the avatar's name, and hit enter. This will activate ESP, which sends the message telepathically, whether you're in the same room or not. Or, if you're feeling particularly evil, and your character has purchased a gun from one of the many vending machines, you can shoot and kill the other player. The developers wrestled with many of the ethical questions presented in Habitat, like murder, and wrote about it in the documentation, which is preserved and available on the project's GitHub account. You can communicate non-verbally in less violent ways by holding control and pressing a number key. Control 1 will wave, Control 2 will point, Control 4 will jump, and so on. Take a few moments to play around with all the numbers to test them out. There are no cars in Habitat. Instead, avatars use teleportation booths. To use them, Take your tokens out of your pocket and execute the put command on the booth. Go into it if you aren't already, then tell it where you want to go by hovering your cursor over it and typing in a destination, like home or oracle. The cost is fixed at 10 tokens, a bargain considering you don't even have to work for it. The world of Habitat is quite vast, but each room is limited to six avatars at a time. To get around this limit, you can turn yourself into a ghost by pressing F1. When you're a ghost, you'll appear as a hieroglyph in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, and can still move around from room to room. You can press F1 again to turn back into an avatar at any time, as long as the room isn't already full. The full world of Habitat is too much for this video, so get in there and have some fun. Everything from email correspondence between the game's developers, to the game's commercials, to the original documentation manual is preserved and available on our Habitat Slack channel which is a great place to meet other players, get gameplay tips, or to coordinate play sessions. To return to Habitat with your avatar after you quit, just enter your avatar's name at sign-in. If you show up as a ghost, just press F1 and you'll be back in action. Although the game may seem clunky and awkward by today's standards, it's an innovation worth preserving, reliving, and appreciating. So jump in, find a quest, or leaf through the documentation for a peek into the minds of the developers. You never know what kind of adventures you'll get into, or what new friends you'll meet. Say, I know. You're that guy Lamborghini from Detroit, aren't you? Oh, the name's Young Turk from Poughkeepsie. I like that better. Let's blow this joint, what do you say? Oh, took the words right out of my mouth!